You know, Keith, I'd say in terms of the temperature today, mm. nice day. It was, yeah. Even really. a little sticky, maybe? Yeah, we were debating I was feeling yeah. really. the same thing. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> Floridians would laugh at us, but yes. for sure. <laughs> right. I mean, it, it did feel that way just a bit, and it kept our temperatures up today, even when we didn't mm -hmm. see sun over Southern Maine. I, we got in the upper 60s without sun, which is a bit of a milestone. We do have a couple of showers and thunderstorms, a lot of thunderstorms into the mountains. Nothing severe here, but there are some areas that are kind of sitting over one spot and whenever precipitation doesn't move much you have to watch out for some heavy rainfall here from new hampshire um, and into the mountain ranges in maine and we do actually have a flash flood warning for that cell northeast of greenville as they've seen some heavy rainfall there i don't think there'll be too many issues with that though and we'll see um, a late day sun from bangor into down east maine they did really well there the rest of us were fairly cloudy but still even still our temperatures were able to respond into the upper 60s in a place like portland sitting at 66 still 69 and gray we were in the 70s earlier today in freiburg and sebago and gray and augusta as well and then 72 in bangor we were in the mid 70s earlier so a nice late afternoon here first 8 p.m sunset uh, of the year over southern maine at least a couple of showers continue tonight over western maine the thunderstorms dwindle into the mountains by later this evening and then we're cloudy tonight temperatures into the 50s i think we're going to see some showers tomorrow morning over the mid coast and southern coastal maine they're just offshore but it's probably um, close enough that we see a few of them break off into maine into southern coastal Maine. The rest of us make sure sun and clouds again tomorrow. Temperatures again in the upper 60s, low 70s, depending on your exact location. And then we're able to get a dry day on Friday, which I think is gonna be really nice. Just a nasty sea breeze along the coast though, dropping us down into the 50s in the afternoon while the inland is probably 75 or so. So there'll be a big swing there on Friday. We'll see that again over the weekend, which by the way, the weekend we're holding on to after looking like it was gonna be rainy on Monday when we looked at it. It really improved yesterday, but I was a little scared that it would change back, but it's still looking good. Saturday and Sunday both look good into early next week too. And it's gonna be a really classic example of inland versus coast when it comes to our temperature profile over the next five or six days. Some of these temperature differences are gonna be 10 degrees, sometimes even more than that from our high temperatures. So Saturday, for example, 60 along the coast, 70 inland, 63 on Sunday, 72 inland. And then it gets a little bit more dramatic here on Tuesday. Tuesday, 70 versus 80 degrees, the same delta in temperatures, but it seems like a big deal to get to 80 versus not. Either way, it looks good. I'm just telling you, if you want to be warm, you can't be looking at the ocean this time of the year, that's for sure. Um, I heard, by the way, that the uh, some of the stripers have arrived in some of the marshes and whatnot. Oh. Is, you know, some people track hummingbirds, other yep. people track stuff like that. Yep. Um, so there we go. I think it's a pretty good looking week overall and we really saved the weekend because it did look quite wet yeah. earlier in the week good news yeah. all right thanks keith